Just this past week, I got a research paper that showed that cortisol, the stress hormone, Cortisol is the thing that makes us all fat when we're stressed out. It's the thing that doesn't allow us to metabolize properly. It's actually released in periodontal pockets when we're stressed out. God, who would have thought that? We're, it's all tied together. This research paper showed that PG, along with cortisol being released in the periodontal pockets, they're these little manufacturers of cortisol. Actually, PG feeds on that. And that's part of the missing link when you see somebody that doesn't have a terribly deep pocket, but they have PG and pretty active, that's it. That is it. So it is not a visual thing. It is strictly looking at what, looking at things through a new lens and approaching it differently. And this is gonna gross you all out, but I'm gonna say it. I was at a conference not too long ago. At the end of the conference, everybody was busy. Everybody was active and they were so pumped up and they were so, pushing themselves. The last day of the conference, everybody had hideous stress breath. Terrible. It wasn't what they ate for breakfast. It wasn't what they had for dinner last night. It wasn't for anything else. Their body was producing stress hormones. Their oral flora was going a little crazy. This is part of the reason why we need to add the different centers to our practices. Oral inflammation reduction, number one, we don't want those bacteria in here. You need to incorporate wellness centers also because if the manufacturer of the problem isn't reduced, then the problem grows like wildfire. We also address dental force and we also address sleep. Those are the things we do in a dental practice that greet the future today.